The significance of this work is multiple. In, uh, uh, it started with the incredible work that Bill created, uh, both what he actually made through Wild Works in Nehi and the space that he made it from, which was the attic. Uh, the fact that he bequeathed his collection to other artists is an incredible way of dealing with archive. And we ran with that. When we digitized his attic, we kept it in stasis. We, we medused it. We said, right, that, what, that which existed will exist forever. So the relationship that all those objects had with the architecture, that is forever now. What we created was something that had resonance in each of the mediums that we used. So the website is informative, the uh, VR is representative, the uh, dome is evocative, and we, we match different emotions, different needs, different uh, uses to those platforms or mediums. So uh, it was beneficial to work across different mediums, not, not in any way a hindrance, it, it needed to. I'm insanely jealous of his artistry, uh, of, of who he inspired and how he inspired them. Uh, and I'm really honoured to be actually making something that does carry on what he did. You can make a physical pilgrimage. You can actually go to and um, pick up and touch. So there's a, um, if you look on the website, there's a little clown. If you want to see the clown, if you want to pick up the clown, shake the clown, taste the clown, you have to go to Bill's attic, you have to go on a, on a physical journey towards that. So um, it's really lovely to be working on a project that, um, like I say, witnessing a project that's been evolving alongside ours. It's important to catalogue work in this way because it captures the joy and of the creativity of the process and it's also about accessibility. This is going to cross borders, allow people to engage with it wherever they are in the world. Just that, uh, that joy of engaging with items and understanding the importance of it to the creative practice is really important. The facilities we have um, are supporting people to come up with new ways of being creative and to explore, um, I suppose, new uh, relationships with space and artifacts and ideas. Um, so, so all of that makes it makes it really special. Well, it's been a, a, a quite an emotional day for me because I've seen I have seen um, some of the work that Scott has been doing on laptop, but there's something very different about seeing it at scale. The dome experience is just very poetic. It just speaks about memory to me. Um, and the fact the snatches of music and the snatches of Bill's voice is really evocative to me personally. I hope that it's also very evocative for people who didn't know Bill and didn't know the attic. Uh, it's been really interesting listening to what people say coming out. I think people loved it because it's a piece of art. It's a very poetic rendition. Um, so it's brilliant that there are these very different ways in which you can experience the data. And that's what it is now, is data. I think Bill would be so excited. Um, partly it's that the idea that anyone would take his playfulness seriously. Do you know what I mean? He was, this was play for him. Um, he was, it was his way of making work, was to return himself to childhood innocence and playfulness and he'd be enormously entertained by the idea that we were taking it that seriously to invest that amount of time and effort and work into it and he would just love the, the lavish craziness of it all, the fact that, it's, that it now exists and in a way it's a legacy for him.